Okay, welcome back to Living Our American Dream, and welcome back to the cabin. This video, if it goes how I intend for it to go, is going to involve putting our wood stove in. So, uh, I'll share a little bit of information. So I ordered the rest of the siding steel, and it's not in yet. So we had, today is December 27th, which means Christmas was two days ago, which means that my lumber yard, where I've been ordering my material from, their deliveries are a little bit off. So it could be a little bit before I get my the rest of my steel. So I think we're gonna work on the interior a little bit. So I went to the home store and I purchased a few things. I purchased one roll of insulation. It'll fit between my studs. I purchased some patio pavers and I purchased a couple pieces of this corrugated galvanized steel. So my plan is gonna be just one bag of insulation that will get me this four foot by four foot corner. And then I'm gonna install a couple pieces of OSB up four feet. And then I'm going to install this corrugated metal. I'll cut this eight foot sheet in half. So it'll be probably this high, um, but I'll cut that in half and there'll be enough to go around this corner. And then I also purchased these patio pavers. You can see they're a red color. They're just a 12 by 12, fairly inexpensive patio paver. What I'm gonna do is lay down some material in this corner and build a little hearth that comes out um, that, that I'll be able to sit my stove on. And then the plan is gonna be to clean my stove up that's up in the shop. I'll show you that here in a second. I am adding a porch, by the way. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but there will be a porch on the front of this, but I'm just gonna add that later. You also seen me grab a bunch of wood off the wood pile. Now that is roughly one inch rough sawn planks that vary from eight to 10 inches wide. I'm gonna use a bunch of that to put a floor in here. We're gonna take that up to the shop. We're gonna plane it. We're gonna uh, rip cut it to a common width and we're gonna lay a floor down in here in this direction with those planks. With that said, stick around, more to come.
right guys, so the wood stove turned out super nice. It cleaned up real nice. I got three coats of high temperature paint on it. My draft control functions well. I didn't do anything to clean out the inside of it because obviously we're just gonna start a fire in it. And the gasket seems to be in decent shape still, so I won't replace that quite yet, but it'll be on the list shortly. But this wood stove, I think, is ready to go. In the meantime, I have the table saw set up, and then down here, I started separating what I thought to be just six and seven inch planks. However, I realized as I got going that I could make some eight inch planks out of some of these. So here's my eight pile. And then I have eight boards at the very end that I believe all came out of the same tree that I think I'm gonna be able to make nine inch planks out of. on the table saw definitely gonna need to put a new blade on her after this but over here I've got my lumber into common widths now this stack is six inches wide this stack of three is seven inches wide I got some eights and I ended up with four boards that I could get nine inches wide my next step is to take this planer off the shelf get it set up here we're gonna play around with this and get us to some sort of uniform thickness that I can start using. And then the only thing left is to trim up these ends. I think it's gonna turn out to be decent lumber and it's kind of a boring piece of the video, but uh, stay, stick around. There's, we're gonna be putting this stuff in soon and we're also gonna be putting the stove in soon. six o'clock in the evening shops cleaned up that was a long afternoon of work to get this stack of wood now I don't know if it's worth it or what but it was fun to me so I got a stack of six got a stack of seven stack of eight and I ended up with four nine inch wide boards everything's been planed to three quarters of an inch uh, most of this has one plain side and one rough side, so I can still use it for um, rough side if I want, and I can use the you know the the clean side up if I want. All right, everybody, it's a new day, and just wanted to say a quick thing about this wood stack behind me. What we worked on yesterday, you guys saw the video. This wood stack, not counting the scrap lumber underneath the sawhorses there's about i did the math yesterday there's between eight and nine hundred dollars worth of lumber right there if i were to go buy it at my local home store so as i was working on this i thought man that's a lot of work and a lot of screwing around and running that planer for you know a couple hours yesterday it was dirty and messy and and uh i got done and took measurements of the boards and and uh yeah, I, I think it was worth, uh, worth a few hours of time to, to make that lumber.
So for anybody who's wondering, this is a portable power pack and I'll be doing a video on this in the near future, but basically it's a rechargeable power pack that will provide you some electricity for lights or charging, you know, a phone or a laptop, or if you have a drone, for example, and need to charge the battery pack for the drone or, or something like that. But I will be doing a video on this in the very near future. For today, we're gonna get set up working in this corner, try to get it ready for a stove. Well guys, I'm a knucklehead, because I thought that roll of insulation would go the whole way. But apparently I didn't read very closely. I thought it was a 50 foot roll. It was a 50 square foot roll over the 40 foot roll. So that meant that I just put enough in so that I can get the, the bottom heat shield around the stove. So we can piece those top two pieces in later. And as a matter of fact, I want to do the center one later anyway, because that's where the chimney's going through. So probably would have to tear that insulation back out anyway, so. putting in this corner and then cutting this one and this one at a 45 degree angle. But I actually think I might leave it just like this. I know somebody out there is probably going to tell me that that's not the right way to do it. But I guess my response to that would be I'm living my American dream, not yours. So, uh, I like it, I think that red's gonna look sharp. And all that lumber that I cut for the floor will be able to go right around this. And then I'll trim it up with a, you know, a two inch, two inch piece all the way around the outside that'll fit right up to the blocks and hold them in place real good. Now, as you can see, I just sat them there. I didn't glue them. I didn't put down any fancy, you know, mortar or, you know, glue them together or anything underneath that. It's just not necessary. In not too much time, I've got to take everything out of here to do this floor. Well, I can measure up the height of my chimney now, but I want your opinion. All you guys watching this video, should I put this in at a 45 degree angle, which would have the stove this way, or should I put it in at a 90 degree angle that has the stove this way? All right, pros and cons to each. If I go the way it's sitting right now, it's a straight run up 
and out that wall with my chimney. If I turn it at a 45 degree angle, in order to hit that same hole, I have to bring it out quite a bit into the center of the room, or I have to do some sort of a angle on my chimney, which I don't really wanna do. Personally, I would prefer it to be at a 45 degree angle facing into the room. I just don't know if that's gonna work. Give me your opinions in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we're running a little low on time for this week's video. So what I decided to do, probably not gonna get this chimney installed in this video, but I'll have the materials and it'll, it'll be soon. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take that lumber that we milled in the beginning of this video, and we're gonna see if we can put this floor in. Okay, so as we get this floor going, some of my boards are not perfectly straight and you'll see we've got a little gap right here. And we wanna close as much of that gap up as we can and I don't have enough lead in my butt to, to push that. So we're just gonna drive a screw right through this board. Into the floor and I should be able to bend that right back into place where it goes. And then drive nails in there. And she's right back where she needs to be. Rustic supposed to be imperfect anyways. What's that? I said, isn't Rustic supposed to be imperfect anyways? It is, but this is the problem with me. I'm a perfectionist, so I try to get everything straight and square. If you're going for perfect, that's modern. We're not modern. When it don't work out exactly, I feel like it should. It bothers me, but you're right. The floor is going to be creaky. The floor is going to have gaps in it. It's not going to be perfect. I already know this wall is not perfect because they use rough saw lumber to frame it. Which means my polar side is much deeper. So let go of your pitcher perfect cabin.
as you can see, it is dark outside. Another long afternoon. But we've got the majority of a floor in here. Now for this corner, let me turn my light over here. Actually, I can just shine here. So I need a little strip in here. And then I'm actually gonna put a two inch, that's only about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Then I'm gonna put a two inch trim piece around this hearth. So where the ends butt up right here, that'll get covered up. I may even chamfer it on the edge with a 45 degree angle. On the sides, my wall is gonna butt right down to the floor. So any gap that ends up around the exterior will get covered up with the wall. And then over here, tomorrow I will come out here and take measurements all along here. And this will be kind of a custom piece because I can already see that that end right there is narrower than it is here. And it gets narrower again to the end over there. So this will be a custom piece that I'll cut up at the shop and bring back here and, and feed into here. Yeah, I think this looks sharp. Some of this wood grain looks real nice. Now I'm not gonna be upset if this floor gets dirty or you know scuffed up or anything. This is a rustic cabin and the intention is just that, rustic. So yeah, looking pretty good. So I didn't quite get to the chimney in this week's video, but that is coming very soon. And so is the remainder of the insulation. And I'm running into a little bit of an issue with my wall boards. Finding somebody to get me a sawmill so I can mill up the rest of my logs. My buddy that I used in the first place has his mill loaned out to his brother. So that's gonna be a problem for me. His brother lives several hours away and uh, not sure I'm gonna be able to get his mill back. But my plan for the walls is similar to what you see on the floor, except I'm not gonna plane every board. We're gonna leave it rough sawn. Um, I'm okay if the walls aren't perfectly even. I wanted the floor to be as level and even as possible, right? So I wanted everything exactly the same thickness. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, this may well be the end of this week's video. So uh, there's a light on me. I appreciate you guys watching every one of you, and we will see you on the next video.